This is Sam from Colasoft. Welcome to this video. For some reason, we may need to record or monitor web visit activities, and save history logs to disk for further reference. In this video, I will demonstrate how to record web visit activities, and save logs to disk with Colasoft COPSA 7. To recognize and log web browsing activities is very easy with COPSA 7. There is a log tab in the main view that provides all log records. With standard version, we can get four kinds of logs. We can click these icons to display a certain kind of log. The global log is a collection of all the above four types of logs. If you don't see the HTTP log icon, that's because you didn't enable the HTTP analysis module in the analysis profile. To get HTTP log, we should select the HTTP analysis module on the start page. On the start page, there are seven analysis profile icons, let's double click any of them. We can see there are six analysis modules in total. To get web log, we should enable the HTTP module. Then click next. And click finish. Or we can directly use the HTTP analysis profile, which is designed to analyze HTTP use. OK, let's go back to the log tab. Click the HTTP log icon. We can see all the web browsing activity records since the capture initiated. We can learn that the time, client IP address, web page URL and other information. To save the logs, we can right click on any record, and click export log to choose a folder to keep the log file. Or we can click the export icon as well. But how to make the program automatically save the logs and keep every day's records in a separated file? No problem with COPSA 7. It takes a few steps of settings. Click the Log Settings button in the ribbon. The Analysis Profile Options dialog box appears, and we see the log settings. In this panel, we can choose to save logs in two kinds of file formats. Apache Log is to save records in standard Apache Log format. Besides all data columns in Apache Logs, Extended Log provides more information like domain name and IP address, etc. They have the same configurations. Let me take extended log as an example. Click the button on the right side, and the log file settings dialog box appears. Check save to disk box. There are two choices. We can save records to a single file or save them to multiple files. Let's say, we want to save each day's records into a separated file. We should choose multiple files. Then choose a folder to keep the file. Next enter a name prefix. We can click this button to see how the name will be processed. Then choose how to split logs. Here we set to split file every one day. By default, Colasoft COPSA keeps all log files on U-Disk. If we only need to keep the latest files, we should check keep the latest box. Then, type in a number. For example, Type 30 to keep the last 30 files. Settings finished, click OK to close the dialog box. OK again. Let's restart the capture and try to visit a website. Then, we can see the visit has been logged. And we open the folder we selected to keep the log files. There is. A log file has been created. Open it and we see the record of our visit. So, if we keep COPSA to run as long as 30 days, we will find 30 log files in this folder. This is the end of the demonstration. Thanks for watching.